Welcome back to the channel everybody. What you're seeing back there, <laughs> back there, is the Addy Road Cut. I'm just outside of Addy, Washington. This is Cambrian, Precambrian courts here. Now, out here at this road cut, in the past, I believe 1956, right there, 1956, trilobite fossils were found along with sponges. We're going to head across the road here. We're about one hour north of Spokane, and uh, we'll, we'll check it out. So this right here is the road cut. That right there, that's not Sarah today, that's Alex. What's up? Say hello, Alex. How's it going, guys? Oh, you're supposed to say hello, Alex. Oh, hello. <laughs> so I just found that piece of quartz across yeah. the across the road. Um, <laughs> so what we're doing out here is uh, everything you see here is like 540 million years old and some change. Um, you can see uh, some of the red, more red rock here, like this. Um, it's this kind of old, rotted, red quartzite. In it, um, you know, you can see we have what I believe to be uh, sponges. So you can imagine this being the bottom of the ocean, and that's what that looks like. Um, you know, we're, we're out here splitting material looking for trilobites. Um, if you have any information about the beautiful Addy Road Cut outside of Addy, Washington, please uh, definitely chime in down below in the comments. I would love to, to hear from you, but um, pretty confident in uh, saying that these are sponges. Whether or not you find that to be impressive, that is up to you, um, but that is not a natural uh, formation happening here. So, um, you know, on the other side of this big knoll is like private property that is a limestone quarry. If you're familiar at all with the formation up in Medellin, Northeast Washington. Um, there is a limestone quarry up there and it's well known for its trilobite fossils. Of course, it's private property now, um, it's closed to the public unless you're part of a club doing a, uh, a dig. A, b a big part of me wants there to be something good here because that would be amazing. It's so highly accessible. I mean, the road's right, right 10, 10 feet away. And you can see in here, there's also um, layers of black shale running through. And really there's a lot of layering happening on this hillside. You can see in this photo right here, what it looks like from a distance. But a lot of interesting material to dig through. So I really think that this area was popularized in Livingston's 1950s books, Fossils in Washington, which uh, I have a PDF copy of, and I will figure out how to put a link down to that PDF down below. Um, it's definitely worth checking out if you're into fossils and while you're in Washington. Uh, there is a great starting point along with um, the Fossil Forum. That's a good place to go for uh engaging with people that are also into fossils. In the meantime, I think uh, we're going to be working on, you can see it right there, that banded red rock. I'm going to try to get some of these things out and see what we can't come up with. So you can see some more of this uh, standard kind of black shale here. Splits pretty easily. Uh, you can uh, uh, slide a butter knife into this. Um, I've found like a graptolite but it's not as good as the graptolites that you find up by meddling so you know if you're a fan of the graptolite i'd probably head up there before coming here i mean you can stop here but the the shale leaves uh a little bit to be desired so right up here by my gloves i think we might have the best example so far Now, perhaps I'm just uh, wishfully thinking, but if you go and watch the Montana trilobite video, um, it's somewhat similar. We got about the same size, kind of poor definition, you know. Um, I'll throw in a <laughs> my favorite artist's rendering of a trilobite now so you can have an idea of what uh, these things are that we're kind of 
hoping to find here. Um, but this, uh, I think I can take this off. You can see it's kind of fractured right now. And uh. There we go. That's coming home. And uh, I think that will get broken up now. Okay, let's let's see what you have here. That is definitely the little prong thing. I forget what it's called. I'll put I'll put a another the little thing goes off their their, their front their front end. Let's see the type of rock you got that you got that out of. Okay. Uh, do you want? You should come look at what I found. It's kind of not uh, not what I would expect out of anything. I mean, it seems like it has to be one. <clears throat> Here's some more of that stuff that has those little spots on it. But check this out up here. I mean. Is that a poorly formed trilobite oh, in the middle of that? That's the same, like, same rock. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, uh, I'm a little out of my element. I don't know, I don't know about this guy, but I, I mean, I I'll, mean. I'll talk, talk your ear off about basalt. <laughs> um, but this, I don't know. This is definitely something. I mean, I can't imagine what process would create that in this, like, sedimentary rock yeah. that we know was at the bottom of an ocean at some point in time, if not some kind of fossil. Uh, the material does kind of change. So, uh, the sponges seem to be down farther at that end, and I haven't really found any going down here yet. I think this kind of gives a little bit better perspective of some of the the lift. So we're kind of tilting up. You can see that we get in some more silty deposit over here. Right before the road cut on the opposite side of the road, you can kind of see um, this is just, well, material from the blasting. So this could also be worth checking out. It'd be a nicer, safer spot. Certainly a little bit cleaner. And the rock's essentially the same. The sponge material is kind of all over, though. I don't know how really interesting or cool it is, though. So it's kind of interesting. Right above Alex up there, you can see one of the bottoms of the boreholes. It's right there, right in the middle of the screen right there, which is kind of neat. You can see uh, the bore lines up above it um, for where they're drilling out to dynamite this thing. So Alex up there found uh, this nice piece of quartz with some awesome piece of gold in it. It's not gold. But it, it is a very cool piece of pyrite, uh, you know, a little on the weathered side, but pretty much everything out here is unless you're splitting rocks. So I have a nice little bucket of stuff. You've, you've found a couple of good things, right? Yeah, I got a couple. I mean, the, the Addy Road cut is interesting. I mean, um, as we've certainly learned, the geology that's within an hour and a half, two hours of Spokane is some of the most fascinating out there. So if you live in Spokane, consider yourself lucky. Yeah. Uh, the huge swaths of the country are, say, to put it politely, on the more boring side. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. We have new, exciting geology happening here. Um, Alex, how long how long have you been rock hunting? Uh, I've been doing about a year now. Yeah. Started out prospecting for gold and then got kind of, Got kind of tired of that. I, I also started out prospecting for gold. <laughs> and started seeing rocks when I was out prospecting for gold and got real interested in that and trying to figure out what everything was and went from there. I still do prospecting from time to time, but not near as much. It's a, lo it's a lot of work for 
it is often yeah. extremely little payout yeah like like 100 hours of work this year for half a gram kind of thing so you're getting paid pennies an hour yeah exactly um, so uh, you had probably the better find you found a partial of the trilobite yeah and i found some sponges and some interesting quartz that we'll look at back yeah. at the shop um yeah there's quite a few quite a few different things here as you get up into the layers there's layers there's quartz mm -hmm. veins there's all sorts of stuff to look for so next time i'll, I'll bring a rope for you yeah. and we, we get you we get you way up there <laughs> no i'm good you're, you're the young one between the two of us so you gotta go up <laughs> yeah no I, 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 <laughs> um cool so i mean um is there any social media or anything that you, you care about you you have a, he, has, he has a youtube channel yeah we have a youtube channel it's, it's mostly hunting and fishing it's called clum dog outdoors mm -hmm. and we do a lot of hunting and fishing we do mushroom hunting and you might start branching into rock hunting you know it's everything outdoors and this is part of my passion mm -hmm. another one of our guys brian clum he likes rock hunting and gold prospecting and stuff so so basically if you got if you go harass him <laughs> you can get him get another person making rock videos in northeast washington yeah. <laughs> uh so um i'll put some of his contact info down below and then uh we're gonna head back to the shop and we're gonna check out our finds well, it's always good to get out, do a little bit of rock hounding, a little bit of fossil hounding, <laughs> especially when it's right off of the road. And it's always nice to, well, meet somebody new. That was my first time uh, meeting up with Alex, which is good. Um, you know, uh, it's always nice to meet other rock hounds that you can get out with. So let's talk about some of these things. Um, and uh, maybe I, if it wasn't abundantly clear, uh, I'm not a paleontologist. I know very little about fossils. And uh, what we're talking about here are, uh, you know, Cambrian, Precambrian fossils. So like 540 million year old fossils. And uh, they don't exactly have the best of definition to it. So let's look at the big slabs first, I guess. So you can see that is a thing. How about that for some identification? Obviously, that's the outside. That's the opposite side of, of this, you know? So that is uh, definitely not normal <laughs> as far as uh, mineralization goes. And then over here, you kind of see that little guy right there. So we have that. Um, let's look at some of these. Now, stuff that you can apparently find out there is, uh, well, trilobites, brachiopods, sponges, uh, and I'm pretty confident that this uh, is part of the ocean floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, part of the little ocean floor there. Um, you know, it's not a formation that you would typically see. Right? Like, this is not a normal, normal rock. Um, right there, I mean, if I was to start to break into some of this, would we find more well-defined samples? Possibly. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the, some of the way it goes I have found with fossils. I mean, it uh, is what it is. We'll probably save one of these, maybe, uh, maybe this guy, and then... Uh, I'll let Sarah break these guys apart. Um, you know, there's that. Uh, lastly, um, we have this kind of crusty piece of quartz. Not exactly sure what that green mineral is up here on the top. I have to do some identification on that. Um, but there's that. So overall, uh, fun, you know, um, get to hang out with somebody, talk about rocks, find some old fossils and uh, joke around, you know. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to probably wrap us up here. Um, as always, there will be a GPS down below for the location. You can go check out for yourself. And uh, by all means, please hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share, all of those things as we try to spread the gospel of a rock hounding to the world. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, take care.